How we doing, kids? It's Christopher Palaha, and you're joining me live on the Palaha Chautauqua, the graduating class of 2020. I was 19, so I'm used to saying that, but it's 2020. It is the COVID class of 2020 in the class of perfect vision. Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper. We have a little tradition in my house that every year at the end of the school year we blast Alice Cooper. We blast schools out for summer. Um, we have a really special show today. I wanted to dedicate this next hour to all the graduates of 2020, the eighth graders, the seniors, uh, the people who are graduating from college and from their master's programs. There's so many people who have missed uh, what is otherwise a really special season in your life. It's a rite of passage. It's something that's shared in front of a community of people. You get to stand up and you get your peers and your teachers and your family to all congratulate something that took a lot of effort. Um, and it's also because of the pandemic and because of COVID-19, uh, a lot of rites of passages uh, have been missed. I know, for example, when I was a senior, we did our senior trip to Disneyland, we had prom, some kids got into the senior slump, uh, you have yearbooks to sign, and then of course the actual pomp and circumstance of the ceremony itself, wearing the robe, wearing the tassels. So I've got a special show for you guys today. Uh, my, my good friend Rain Wilson is going to join me at the end of the hour. He's going to prepare a little, uh, I guess he's got a little commencement speech, he's like to say, um, which I'm excited to hear. And so what I wanted to do was, it's Friday night, things are opening up in California tomorrow. I think things across the country are starting to open up. Uh, that's going to split the camps. Half of you are going to be very nervous, very apprehensive, and sort of uh, feeling even more isolated when things open up because there's a very real threat of COVID-19 still running rampant. Uh, and that causes a lot of stress and anxiety. So that's going to be existing. And then the other half of us are just excited to get out of quarantine, excited to get our lives back together. Um, so for everybody who's tuning in as the numbers keep climbing up, I just want to welcome you to the Palaha Chautauqua Graduating Class of 2020 edition. I'm going to start you off David Letterman style with a little uh, a top 10 perks of remote learning due to COVID. So top 10 perks to remote learning due to COVID. Uh, number 10. You had the perfect opportunity to finally avoid that X that you were trying to avoid and those awkward bump ins in the hallway. Those were done. Number nine, home cooked meals. No more uh, cafeteria food, no more fast food. Number eight of the top 10 perks of remote learning. You really got to uh, practice a very important life lesson. It's called time management. Uh, how much time on the Xbox? How much time do you sleep in the morning? How much time is it gonna take to get that work done so you can get back to those things? All right, number seven on the top 10 perks of remote learning due to quarantine. Number seven is that during quarantine, you became a star on TikTok. You got a podcast off for your own show on Disney Plus, and now guess what? Good news, you don't even need to go to college anymore. You don't even need the GED that you just got. All right, number six. Um, you got to watch the entire nine seasons of The Office. Not once, not twice. But 15 times. You also got to watch all nine episodes of Too Hot to Handle. And the good news is if that you own stock in Netflix, then you don't have to go to college anymore either. <laughs> oh! All right, number five. Um, you finally, after four years of school, have discovered the classes that you really love to take versus the classes that you have to take. All right, number four. Hey, good news. You guys just gained the Quarren 15, which is the, uh, you know, it's going to take the place of the freshman 15. So that requirement has been fulfilled. You're good to go. All right, number three. On the top 10 perks of remote learning due to quarantine, number three on the list is that you have gotten to bond with your favorite teachers over Zoom Number three on the list, Zoom backgrounds. 
There we go. Number two, you have gotten one last full on no holds bar day in, day out, 24 seven, like you're 11 years old again, full time mom and dad family time. Now for you, that was probably one thing for your parents, I can attest to this. It was the greatest joy of their life the last three months. So number two, family time with the parents. Number one, number one on the list of the top 10 perks of remote learning due to quarantine. Ladies and gentlemen, number one on the list. No homework. Now, if I had a band, they would play, they would do the whole thing, and we'd have this really great time. Um, I'm gonna get my son his phone. It was his phone we got to play Alice Cooper on. Uh, so guys, welcome to the Plaha Chautauqua. Um, we are live and, and we are going to love on our graduating class of 2020 today. Uh, you'll can see that I'm trying to flex with my reverse writing here. I got the C right and everything else is a little backwards, which was intentional. It's symbolic for what's going on right now. So before we uh, commence with the show, before I start bringing people on, I want you guys to celebrate your kids. If you're a student and you graduated and you wanna give a shout out to a teacher or to your parents or to a fellow classmate, or if you have an inspiring word that you wanna say, I would love to hear from you. Uh, if you're a parent and you wanna congratulate your kid for all the hard work they did, this is that public chance. I know it's not graduation. I know it's not all the pomp and circumstance. You got some goofball in a pink seersucker suit playing drums off camera, but it's the next brand, it's the next best thing. Um, hi to everybody who's joining us. Um, I'm gonna start with a sweet little word here that I wrote for you guys. I wrote this actually for my high school, um, their graduating class. They asked me to be a part of a little video. So I hope I'm not spoiling anything here for them. Um, but, so I've got it down and I've got it written because I think, uh, so if you see me kind of looking off, that's what it's doing here. But uh, basically this is my salutation my opening remarks for the graduating class of 2020. Uh, I know this pandemic has forced you to miss so many milestones that you have worked so hard to accomplish, like senior night at Disney, prom, senior slump, and of course the pomp and circumstance of graduation. However, missing all of these milestones has made you, the class of 2020, unique, singular, one of a kind. Like I said at the top of the show, you were the COVID class of 2020. You were the class of perfect vision. So I'm gonna give you guys a blessing. Take this as you depart into the next steps of your future. Because graduating from high school, graduating from eighth grade, graduating from college, albeit they're very different things, they're all hugely symbolic and important milestones. It took a lot of effort to get there and not always easy. Not everything was a smooth sail. I mean, it was, I'm sure you guys can all attest, there were rough, rough moments, but you did it. So take this blessing, use the grit, use the resourcefulness, the tenacity, the resilience, and the singularity that has defined your senior year in high school or college, and force those qualities to define your life. Be full of grit, be resourceful, be tenacious, be resilient, and be one of a kind in everything you guys do. Congratulations on working so hard to accomplish this incredible milestone. Godspeed to you guys in all that you do. I've got a special graduate in my house, Micah Max, who just graduated from eighth grade. Buddy, we are so proud of you. Couldn't be prouder. We had a picnic in the uh, parking lot of Dunkin' Donuts yesterday to celebrate his last day of school. And I think the school is gonna try to do something for him in August, which I know a lot of schools are still gonna try to do something. So again, um, you guys, I'm gonna open up the phone line here, the party line, and I'm gonna bring some people on. Uh, let's see who we got, starting with, uh, starting with, Claudia, Claudia, I should talk with Claudia. Where are you at? And if you're listening, guys, uh, I'm gonna go to, uh, hello, Claudia. Claudia, can you hear me? Are you out there? Is anybody listening? If you are, can you say hello? Claudia, are you there? No. 
No, you're not. I'm going to say goodbye to you, Claudia. Um, if you guys get a chance, there's a gray button when you start watching me live, and it says request to come live. If you want to do that, I got Rachel Alipinko, who's got her daughter graduating from Michigan in high school. Um, Joanne, let me see. Hold on a second. Let me do this right. Uh, Joanne Orth Mune is 65, has a daughter and a son, both graduating. One from the University of New Mexico, the other from high school. Uh, Sarah Starsale who has a, has, they've had a really rough year this year. She's got a son who's graduating. Uh, Laura, if you guys, so I'd love to hear from you guys. If you're out there, request to come on live with me um, and we'll get, we'll get you down. Uh, Laura Gag, Listro 7, Sarah Canfield 2, Amy Yo 725, Missy uh, KUK 50. Anyway, come on, come on, come on. Let's see what else we got today. All right. I got a very special guest that I'm bringing on, someone near and dear to me, near and dear to my heart. Let's see if he's ready to go. <clears throat> Let me give you guys, let's see this. <clears throat> let's see, is everybody, can everybody hear? Okay. John, I'm, I'm coming to you, brother. But for some reason, you, uh, I'm waiting for you to respond, brother John. Do you see where it is? It's my brother. My brother has a son graduating from uh, high school. All right, John, I'm going to invite you again. Let's see what you got. This is where it becomes a thing. All right. Let's try again, John. You ready? I am joy. <clears throat> hey! There we go. There. What's up, big brother? Hey, I'm sitting here in the van. Down and by the river? Down by the river. <laughs> And look who I have here with me. What's up, my man? How you doing, Oliver? I'm good. Congratulations, dude. Thank you. <laughs> John, you got something you want to say for Oliver? Yeah, so I just want to tell Oliver that he is awesome. <clears throat> I am so proud of him for the last four years of having to struggle through high school he went to Branham High School, and he was a little shy in the beginning, introvert. But then he started the swim team, and he just blossomed like a flower. And it was just awesome to see him grow, uh, come home with new ideas, and just make friends. And it was just, just awesome to see your child just grow like that and to blossom into a, a young man. So, Oliver, I'm very, very proud of you. And I love you, and I know you'll have much success. Thank you. <laughs> Proud of you, man. We love you, Oliver. Thank you. Now, are you still interested in joining the Navy? Is he still thinking about doing the Navy? I went to see a recruiter recently. Okay, how'd that go? Good. Um, we have an appointment soon. Good. And All right. Let's see how that goes. We appreciate that, man. We have to lose it's our a bold. Hair. Yeah, I'm you're going to have to shave. You and me, we're going to have All right, guys. I love you. Hey, we love you, too. Great show. Thanks, we'll bud. See you on the flip side. See you on the flip side, man. Bye-bye, John. Bye, Bye, Oliver. Congrats, man. Bye. Boom. All right. There's my brother, John, and his son, Oliver. Congratulations, you guys. Um, let me see something here. Where's Abe? Let's see. Sarah, I'm going to ask you to come live with me if you think you're ready for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. The way I imagined this going today was going to be just a rapid fire. Of, of, but I think that technology is kind of foiling my plan here.
Yeah, that's okay. All right. Let's see where we're at. Hey, rain moments from Columbus, Ohio. Um, well, we can always, where's Steph Pratt? Here, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, I'm coming at you, girl. I'm going to try to get you on again because I want to hear your story and I think people would like to hear your story. Hi. Hey. It's both of us. Hey, you guys. Well, congratulations to your son. That's awesome. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks. How are you guys doing? We're doing all right. It's, yeah. it's an exciting day because he actually does get a little bit of graduation ceremony today. So we've got some stuff that we're going to do tonight that'll be fun. That's very, very cool. And you graduated from high school, right? Yeah. What's yep. your name, bud? Ethan. Ethan. That's awesome. Um, do you have plans for next fall already or what are you, you going to do? I don't know yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of taking a breather after this year. You guys have had a rough year, huh? We have. We yeah, have. You, you shared with me on, on over Instagram. So I'm sorry for your loss. For Thank, both you. Of you, Thank you. Because that's not easy. And I'm proud of you, Ethan, for, for gunning and running anyway. Um, yeah, that's rough. It was, but we did um, it. <laughs> and you did it, and then you got stuck in quarantine right after, and so that's yeah. not easy. And are you guys, now where are you from? We're Central Valley, California. Okay, so you're a little further north, I guess, than us, yeah? Yes, yes. What part, what part? Because that's, I went to high school up in, uh, up in, like, Monterey area. Okay, uh, we're Modesto. My parents are Salinas, so I'm familiar with Monterey. Oh, yeah, Salinas, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Very cool. We know it all. We know it well. Yeah. Um, and are you guys opening up tomorrow, too? For our actually, we've been open for a little while. Stanislaus County is where we are, and they're a little more proactive than lenient. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, so that's what's tonight. So tonight, you get to go have a dinner and you get to like see people. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, good. Exactly. good. We still have to stay in our cars, but you know, still doing the social distancing. But we've been open for a little while. Crazy times. Well, Ethan, I'll tell you what, you will never forget the year you graduated. Not that you would anyway, but mine was 1999. And I was like, because it was special because it was the last you know year of the millennium. You have a very unique year that you graduated in. So it'll sure. go down. It's, it's going to market for a lot of people. People are going to be like, oh, yeah, you're the class of 2020. So yep. there's that. <laughs> you got that. Yep. And John Kaczynski threw him a graduation, right? That's right. That's right. Um, well, keep watching. His buddy might show up later. Um, you guys, I appreciate you stopping in. Thank you for letting me, uh, you know, come in. And, Thank you for chatting. Of course, Ethan, congratulations, man. We're real proud of you. Thank you. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Bye now. Very sweet. All right, if there's teachers out there, if there's teachers that want to come in and say hello, um, please go for it. Um, let me see. Let me see what we got. Let me see what we got here, kids. Um, where'd you see them? Hey, Steph Pratt, if you're listening, why don't you give me a little uh, tap on the keyboard? Say, hey, I'm right here, bro. There he is. There he is. You know what? I'm going to invite my friend Steph Pratt to come on. Teacher. He's a teacher. And I think that he'll have an interesting perspective of the last few months, and particularly of some kids. Yeah. So V's life graduated in 2000. It makes you the first of the millennium, which is, which is also a pretty uh, extraordinary milestone <clears throat> your son dominic and your daughter okay we're coming at you uh steph i'm coming back to you in a minute hang tight let's see what we got <laughs> steph you gotta be on your uh hi, hi. <laughs> how are you yeah, how are you i'm good welcome to the palaha chautauqua I where are you from <laughs> you just um, ordered food you live, you, live now? you live in jersey what part of jersey yeah Bergen County. What number is that on the turnpike? I don't know. What is it, Mom? I don't know. You guys don't know? Oh, my God. It's like a thing. Isn't it the thing? I thought that was a thing. Like, yeah, it's pretty high, I think. That's Because, like, the shore is, like, one, two, three, four. So then, the, I guess we're north. So it's something okay. high. Are you guys kind of close to the city? Are you close to New York City? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's awesome. My brother hey. just graduated. He did. He's embarrassed to come on, but he loves you. And is this Dominic? <laughs> yes, yeah, <it's> Dominic. <laughs> come on, Dominic. We got to see your face, my He's man. Not we got it. 
That's all right. That's all he right. You on. Sure. It's a lot of Chautauqua is, uh, we, we love a, a shirtless kid every once in a while. This is it. What's up, my man? How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I can, uh, your sister is protecting your decency. We can't even say, you can have a turtleneck on for all we know. Um, so you just graduated from Fordham, which is a pretty big deal. Congratulations. Yeah. That's awesome. What did you major in? Thank you. Accounting. Accounting? Are you going to be a CPA? What are you going to do with it? Yeah, and I'm going to study for the CPA exam. Yeah. Good for you, man. You're going to you're going to you're going to bail people out of financial havoc. That's the plan. Keep everything uh, safe and ethical. Yeah. Keep it all tidy. Hey, when you get your thing, call me. I need a CPA. Okay. Don't tell my <laughs> CPA, but you know what I mean. Um, and and your sister. What's your name, Dominique's sister? Um, my name's Tony Ann. Tony Ann, this cute name. Where and did you Thank just you. graduate too? No, I'm a junior in high school, so I'm just doing You're virtual school right now. Okay, okay. So, Dominic, explain to me, what were you guys doing? Were you doing home, like, remote learning just like they were in high school? Or how did it work yeah. on the university level? So, basically, it was kind of easier for colleges because we're pretty independent as students. So, basically, they just put, like, recordings or we would do Zoom sessions with teachers. Like, some teachers did it differently. So, Zoom, the teacher would just teach on Zoom, and the rest of us would just, like, kind of watch and like participate and then some teacher just like did recorded powerpoints and gave us assignments to do so and how did you, and you had to, like the grades came from the assignments like basically the pass or fail came from whether you got the assignments turned in and how well yeah we had the it. option to take pass fail and I, I just choose not to i went for the grades because i um, started graduate school and i didn't have a gpa yet so i wanted to like <laughs> get some grades under my belt for graduate school good for you well it sounds like you got a good head on your shoulders man we need people like that in the world doing Thank good you. We appreciate you. And congratulations. That's a big, big accomplishment. Proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in and, and thanks for jumping on the show, even if sure. you're shirtless. Thank you. I'm <laughs> glad your sister was, uh, she was not going to let it, she wasn't going to let him off. Um, <laughs> Tania, good luck next year as a senior. Next, Thank well, next, you. next year, we'll talk again. I want to yes. congratulate you in one year from now, the class of 2021. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you guys, be well. All right. Thank you. Bye. 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 Sweet. I like people. All right. Let's see who else we got in the world out there. Um, everybody, I want to say hi to you. M. Roberts, thanks for the compliment. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do, guys. This is like the family edition. So it's fitting. Rain's going to join me because he's kind of like family. Um <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. If my mom can figure this out, then we will have a pretty big Palaha reunion here on the Palaha Chautauqua, aptly named. Um, mom, I'm waiting for you to, I'm waiting for you to pick it up, mom. You just have to accept the button. Everybody's having trouble. Accepting my invitation. Can you guys not do it? There we go. Connecting. Well, we're, we're connecting. Good. Ding. I feel like I've been connected to these people my whole life. All right. While we're connecting, mom, dad, we're going to go to... Uh, Amy. See, it's like Russian roulette a little bit. Like you pull that trigger and either it goes off and you're live with me or... Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right here. I'm at home. I'm just, um, I'm one of the teachers that you were talking to. Oh, uh, is your name? Queens, New York. Um, I live in Levittown, Long Island. And um, it's been an interesting year going on yeah, here in New York. Is. is your name Amy? Did I get that right? Yeah, it's Amy. Hi, and, Amy. Um, and what grade do you teach? I teach seniors in Queens. I teach AP you government. Do. And I also teach a, called, a course called uh, College Apps, where I help students apply to college. This year, we did really well. We actually have one student going um, to Harvard full ride. We've got uh, awesome. Cooper Union, we've got Fordham, we've got Hostra, we've got a bunch. And it's a first generation school, pretty much mainly a mix of immigrants, people of all different backgrounds. It's great. That's and awesome. I couldn't be happier. I mean, 
That's amazing. Well, good for you and good for the work you're doing. So you know this senior class really, really well, or you did until February. Have you guys been okay as far as the quarantine? I mean, New York got hit really, really hard. You guys were the epicenter for our country. So how's it been? I mean, how are you? Um, it's been tough. I've been okay. Um, my husband lost two family members, but they were in their mm. 90s and in nursing homes. Um, yeah. Otherwise, my students have had it rougher because we are a commuter school. There's no zone, so they travel on the subways, and a lot of them brought COVID home, and they live with their grandparents and families in very small apartments in the cities and lots of death. Yeah. Even former oh. students who actually are part of the NYPD told me, they were going to apartments, removing 10 to 11 bodies a day in the area. Oh, beach. Amy. Yeah, yeah. It's been rough. You know, it's crazy. How does it make you feel when you watch the news and you see people like, like last week when people weren't really taking the stay at home orders very seriously or how there was like a different, like how there's just different mentalities right now. Like you, because I don't think what the rest of the country understands is that people in New York, you guys had a very specific experience that the rest of the country watched through the filter of our, like, of CNN and Fox and MSNBC and all these channels. You guys were on the ground living it, and it was very different than, like, California. We don't have the, we don't have the same experience you guys have. I mean, I take, th I take things for granted, I find, and it definitely changed my perspective. Like, my husband and I, we like to go, like, out in our Corvette. Like, we'll take a nice ride down by the beach, usually, yeah, with the puppy. We have a West Island Terrier, and we just, like, roll with it. And just seeing um, the testing facilities set up and everything, it's kind of eerie. And people should actually take heed, unfortunately. And it's been sad. I've seen, um, I've seen it hit my students, AP students, who lost a grandmother and a grandfather. One of my other coworkers, he was talking to a parent that lost four members of their family. I've had students um, taking care of mom and dad, actually working, doing their schoolwork, doing the Zoom meetings, doing the um, Google Meets, doing the assignments online, and also picking up a job at like Uber Eats or DoorDash to help pay the bills. It's been crazy. Right. That is really crazy. I'm so glad you came on the show today to, to, yeah. to talk about that, because I don't think a lot of people can, like, they don't hear that perspective at all. Is there anything you would like to say to the class that's graduating this year? Honestly, I'm so proud of every single class of 2020 member who's graduating. And whether or not you choose to defer your college, to take some time to reflect, because I have a lot of students who are afraid to go to college in September. And it's really emotional. And um, it's a hard, a hard thing, a hard situation the kids are going through. And my heart is with you. And it, I mean, honestly, they are stronger than, than I am in any way or measure they're dealing with unbelievable circumstances and even, whether you're here in new york the carolinas like my other relatives or georgia or or in california or even in europe yeah. i have friends we were supposed to go in europe in ireland my friends are quarantining still and um yeah. they're starting to open up it's it's a different world and a different life but thank god for technology and everyone being able to connect i feel blessed and uh Thank you for having me. This is uh, the second time I've watched this uh, program, the Tim Tebow route I went through. Once a Jed, always a Jed. Not to quote <laughs> from like any Broadway plays. Yeah, we loved him on the Jets. The yeah, 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 we loved him on the Jets. We were in, I was yeah. actually in New York filming when he was on the Jets, and so we got to see him play a lot. And you, it was fun to, the crowd, I remember they'd be like, they would call for him to come out. I felt bad for uh, Sanchez. Yes, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's well, just a whole know, rough subject. But thank you so yeah. much. You and your wife are awesome. Um, thank you to thank your family. Thank you, Amy. And thank you for what you do, because what you do is an amazing service. I think about the teachers that had an impact on my life. There was Hamish Tyler and Peter Feyroyan in high school specifically. And they changed the entire course of my life. It was their encouragement, their belief in me, and their support to let me know. They just poured into me in a way that said, you can do something that I really didn't even I couldn't even see into the future that far. And it was these teachers who very sacrificially, like you guys just give and give and give all of your time, all of your attention and all of your energy is pouring into these little young people to make them better citizens in the world and to give them a chance and to give them some, to give them a life in a way and to educate them. It's a really huge calling. And so I appreciate you and, and all your colleagues across the country for what you do. So thank you. And thank you to everyone for the kind words and reading as uh, you're speaking as well. Thank you again. All right, Amy. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Be safe, everyone. Bye. Great.
Thank you, Amy, for joining the show. That was very impactful. That was awesome. Um, all right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to you, my mom. Coming back to you, mama. Let's see if my mom can pick up the phone. Hey, Aiden, if you're watching, maybe you want to do it from your cell phone. Help, help me, help. Or help your grandma. Grandma can't get on Insta Live. I think my guitar's out of tune. Yeah. Oh. That sucks. Um, my guitar's out of tune. I should have tuned it before. Mom, can you get on here? Mom, are you there? What's going on? Oh, oh there they are. There they are. Hello. The yeah, you are. The Palahas have joined the Palaha Chautauqua. What's going on, guys? Do you have a cell site? Are you in a place where there's cell site? You got a, we got a nice photograph in your den. We got the, the pictures of Adam and Eve, I guess, or um, Jerry and Esther. God, Jerry, give me the Hey, there's my big brother, Eric. I'm good, hey, man. Chris, how, how are you, bud? Some, an adult had to take over the situation. We're live. And, and it was like mom was showing us the <laughs> corner of the roof. I'm glad that you stepped in. Um, <laughs> no, good. Good. I know that your good. son, my nephew, Aiden, uh, graduated from Minogue this year in Reno. And um, we're A, so proud of him. So Aiden, we love you. We're super proud of you. And do, do you want to say something to him? Or does he want to say something to his coach? Like his kids? His, his students? Or? Yeah, Aiden's here. I'll, tell, I'll say cool. a little something for him. Um, congratulations to everybody, all the class of 2020. Uh, this is unprecedented. It's, it's something that none of us have had to go through. And you guys have been through quite a bit. And like you said, Chris, at the beginning, there's a lot of things that you look forward to that you were unable to do. Um, but you persevered, you got through it, and now you're graduates of something that only you have the ability to say hey this is us 2020 we did it and that's impressive that's very impressive so congratulations to everybody that's very yeah, well said job, well done thank you Eric. hey um my son aiden he's right here Hello, aiden palaha <laughs> elaine and i my wife and i couldn't be more proud of him he's he's been an amazing amazing kid he's been on an uh, incredible journey the last four years not only the last four years but throughout his school he's been a a driving force in his own right he he pushes through everything he always had a vision of what he wanted to do he knew how to do it and he always got through it and to that point and i'm we're both very proud of him and it, his whole high school was was rough he had he had some rough patches the class itself has some really rough patches they've lost they lost a really good friend their sophomore year um this year we had the football team got sick the entire football team got sick and then they had a crouping cough where they were off for a week and uh and then they had the coronavirus at it's the crazy. end of the year <laughs> Um, but they all did an amazing job, and we couldn't be more proud right. of Aiden. And he is—he's getting ready to go to college. Uh, he also wants to be a Marine, so he wants to go to college, get his degree, and then be a Marine and help uh, protect us here in the United States. So yeah. we're very proud Thank of that you. as well. Yeah, and I know he probably wants to say a few words, but uh, be proud, Daddy. Yeah, I just want to tell him we love him. And that uh, we couldn't be more Love prouder Aiden. of him. Thanks. Aiden, so congratulations, man. You've earned your thank stripes, you, my you. brother. You've earned your stripes. I'm trying to get my hair to look like yours, but I don't. I, I got it growing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Lower the camera yeah. a little bit. There you go. All right. So do you want to say anything to your, uh, maybe your classmates or anything? Um, if any of them are listening, it's 
been a great four years and to all the other graduates it's been uh i know it's been a crazy um ride for us this last year was um a little bit difficult with the um coronavirus but it could have if you think about it it could have been a lot worse and me personally i've made the best out of it i've gone out and been able to do stuff with my family and some of my friends um and yeah, it's just been an interesting experience and an interesting four years, and especially this year was, I think, the craziest yeah. year. Yeah. Well, you've done well, yeah. Aiden. We've watched you over the years. I remember when you were a little Thank tiny you. baby boy and you used to walk with your arms over your head like an orangutan. <laughs> to see you today, how tall you are, you're a good-looking kid, you got a great head on your shoulders. I think you're going to have a wonderful life ahead of you, and we're proud of you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, all right, you guys. I'm going to let somebody else on before I, uh, before my brother, my, my friend Rain comes on, but um, appreciate you guys saying hi. All right. Love All you, right, love you Chris. Well done, man. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. We're coming home. Yeah. Right, yeah. Bye. Looking forward to it. Bye. All right. Love you too. This is why we call it the Palaha Chautauqua. <laughs> because it's family, man. It's all family. And you guys are now part of the family. Um, all right, I got one. I think I have time for one. Somebody, let me see what we got here. This phone. Um, all right. Let's see what we got here. What's wrong, baby doll? There's some weight music. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I am good. I'm going to assume that your name is Kristen. It is. Okay, yes. good. Good. Hi, Kristen. Where are you uh, coming live from? I am in Roswell, New Mexico, nice. where I have lived for 28 years. Awesome. I've been married. I've lived here. And we have a college graduate and a high school graduate right now. You do. You do. That's really oh, awesome. I mean um, so <laughs> you've got two. How did that timing work out? So two graduates in the year of 2020. Yeah, just, it's a strange thing. It couldn't be 2019 or 2021, it's now. Yeah. Um, our college senior, he goes, he just graduated from Vanguard University of Southern California in Costa Mesa. Okay. He um, Huntington Beach. So he came home mid-March for three weeks, we thought. It was spring break and then probably a couple more weeks. Um, and then we get the email, classes are canceled. I know it's coming. Then we get the email. Graduation is canceled. So who cries? Me. You. Me but yeah. mom. Yeah. Um, and then our um, high school senior, same thing. Spring break was mid-March and we got an extra week. Then we got an extra week. Then we never went back. So they did some remote learning. Um, we have a sixth grader as well and an older one that's already graduated. He's 25. But, um, so th but those two middle guys my heart just hurt for them. It yeah. was, it's just, it's a hard thing. And I think it's almost harder for us as parents because we know the things that they're missing. Yeah, they don't know, uh, right? They don't have, yeah. Um, the senior trip, the ceremonies, you know, all of that. But um, I've secretly really enjoyed the lockdown with them. Of course you have. Yeah, we, that was number two on my top 10 list of, uh, you know, the quarantine perks. It's like parents. Yeah, it's, it's great. Them. And I've yeah. been cooking like crazy and just trying to keep everybody fed that's the hardest thing i mean sons you get it yeah. you know yes um but just i don't know i've just so enjoyed the nesting feeling that that we've gotten from all this in the midst of all the hurt and the things we're missing i've loved that there's been, so, a, there's been a silver lining which has there's been, been a, a silver yeah. lining and you know i don't know that we'll ever get this time back again yeah. no. so I'm just trying to relish it. The one went back to California last week. He's got to go clean out his apartment. His lease yeah. is up soon. Yeah. So I'm sure he's surfing and doing all the things. But, um, you know, it's, I just, in the midst of it all, though, I just know that God is good no matter what. Yeah. And we've just been hanging on to that and just trusting him and just knowing that it's all going to be okay no matter it, what. And it will be. You know, there's always a tomorrow and life goes. I mean, there is a, there's, you know, obviously – Every pandemic, we've we've seen that life continues as it will. Um, right. But we're here now, and I think that's that right. We're the ones. If this is our generation, and it's affecting us, and this is our reality. 
Um, and I, what I've loved is how special this time has been, A, for families, but then for people that really come together. I know this week has been a hard week for our country for a lot of different reasons. Yeah. Um, you know, we hit a huge milestone as far as the death count for COVID-19. Right. There were the shenanigans with the cops and, you know, like it just keeps un this unfortunate. Um, but, but one of the things, and you're right, you said something that was really poignant. They don't know what they're missing. I remember being a, a senior in high school, kind of poo-pooing my, uh, my graduation ceremony. Right. And my buddy Colin and I, we didn't even do the robe from my, when I graduated from NYU. We, like my parents flew all the way to New York and we weren't even on the stage. And, and we were like, we don't. But now I look back on that time and it was precious to me. And they were these amazing rites of passage that I'm glad that I went through. So I'm sad for them to miss that. I um, but it'll be okay. And the, the one that goes, the senior in high school, they're gonna actually have a graduation next month. It's a small private Christian school, 17 in his class. Good. So we're okay. fortunate that way. We'll get to do something, but it won't be quite the same, but it'll still be special. And we'll look back on this and hopefully just cherish the memories that we've made, even well, though it's been yeah. hard. I appreciate you coming on today. And thank you so much. And congratulations to your kids. That's awesome. Thank you got a double you. whammy in the house. There's a couple of you today that, and from New Mexico of all places. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So hey, enjoy you and your, these chats always are fun. And thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And God bless. Thanks for coming in. God bless you all too. All right. Take care. Bye. 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 Um, what did I say? Did I miss something? No. All right, let's see. Um, let's see what we got it's 442. here. 442. Yeah. Um, guys, I'd like to bring on a friend of mine who has been uh, a really cool supporter. I worked with him when he committed an act of murder on the show called Backstrom. He was killing Dwight Schrute from his character, The Office. Guys, welcome Rain Wilson. Chris Palaha, your beard is magnificent. Thank you, brother. Wow. Thank you. Mine is mine is kind of lame and senior citizen-y to yours. You know what you have that I don't have is an actual connectivity between your Yeah, yeah, that's that's a little weird. You've got a little like a little buttocks area right there got on your the cheek. cheek. It's not Awesome. Cheek buttocks. My wife has officially hit the button of like shave. It's time to go. I've been thinking about yeah. doing like going opposite of this. I'm all sweaty. I just worked out, but um, like shaving and like shave the head, like go all like go. clean. I'm so tired of just being hairy all the time. Yeah, yeah. We should do that. On, um, we should do that. We should do. We should make a special out of it. We could do that together. We should do it together. Um, first off, I want to say thank you so much for coming on my little Palaha Chautauqua. Um, um, yeah, this I is looking back it's great on, what you're doing. Yeah, thank you. Well, you know, it's funny. Um, I think people like us, we had a similar instinct when all of this stuff, when, when the pandemic hit, and there was this need, I don't know if you felt it, but a need to connect and just to communicate with people and to reach out and talk. And I've been enjoying what you're doing through Soul Pancake with your Hey Human. Hey there, human. Mm -hmm. um, every day. And by mm -hmm. the way, did you know Jason Isbell before or we did Backstrom or were we singing his song you and then did you just get to know him after that or like what's I think story? it was right around when we were shooting Backstrom four or five five or five years ago six years ago that we were both listening to Jason Isbell at the same same time yeah 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 and amazing that singing it. and you had him on the show yesterday it was really so awesome. was somehow I got his email and I think it was oh he follows me on Twitter or something like that. So I direct messaged him and I just said like, I reached out like, dude, I'm such a huge fan. If you're ever gonna shoot a music video, like I would love to direct it, let me know. And he's like, sure, man, I'm coming to town in a couple months, I'll see the show and we can hang out. And and then it just, I was out of town or something, it fell apart and I was like, wait a minute, I have his email. So I just out of the blue wrote him um, to come be on the show, Hey There Human on the Soul Pancake. And uh, he came on and performed that duet with his wife, um, Only Children, from his new album. And it was, it was so beautiful. I was like, literally, when you watch me, and you, you can go to Soul no, Pancake. No, you were like this. You were like the whole time. I, I, was, like, cry. I, was, like, I was like, inside, I was like, don't cry. Don't cry. No, I, I went with Caleb. Caleb and I watched it, and Julianne was listening. And, and uh, Caleb was like, is he, is he about to cry? And I was like, yeah, he might, he might be. I was almost there. It was so touching. It was just... They were so simple and beautiful and vulnerable and the way they sang together, husbands and wives, like singing together that yeah. effortlessly. 
I was just like, and then they were singing. You about, and Holiday do that, right? You you guys do that. We sometimes will try and sing together, but Holly doesn't understand. My wife is brilliant at so many things. She doesn't understand how harmony works. So if we're singing a song and then I harmonize, she comes immediately to what I'm singing. You're like, stop, hey, hold on. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. do you know how thirds work and fifths work? Like, and I'll just kind of show her on the piano. Like, no, you sing, stay on that note. I'm gonna go up to that note. You stay on that note. It never, never happens. Never. But we try to sing that way. We try and fail. Yeah. How about your family? You guys do any singing? Chautauqua Jamborees over there in the Palaha you know Palace? We, we actually did. Um, about three weeks ago, Caleb and I, so do you, I don't think I ever told you this story. Um, my wife's brother, this guy named Scott, who I did mention to you because he's the novelist in Florida. He's and married he to this- a podcast that you said. Yeah, he yeah. did, he did. Yeah. He, had, uh, yeah, he had a podcast for a while. Uh, he married, this girl is married to this woman named Katie. Her daddy is a guy named Dennis Lindy who wrote Burning Love for Elvis Presley. Uh, he wrote songs Goodbye for Earl, Goodbye Earl Chicks. for the Dixie Chicks. I mean, he's like a super prolific, brilliant wow. songwriter. And he wrote a song called Peaceful, um, which has never been produced before. And so Caleb and I sang it three weeks ago together on this little show. And uh, it was beautiful. It was nice. I had, a, I had a big old come and sing, come and sing on the show episode. Oh, and that's great. And that's how we started it off. Yeah. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, dude, I just wanted to bring you onto the show today. And, and, I just, I thought of all the people I could ask to give a sort of commencement speech for the class of 2020, I was thinking that you might have some very uh, profound things to say. Is there anything you want to tell the class of 2020 as they move off into the future? Um, yes, there's a few things. I don't have anything prepared, but I think there are, do you want me to like start, like do I start, do I like start as if I'm giving a talk or do I just converse with you and then it can be shared with them? How does this work exactly? I mean, I haven't done this before. How do you, do we could talk or you can share it with them? I don't know. I mean, they're right. gonna watch it at some point. You, you, you're Rain Wilson for the love of God. Ladies and gentlemen of the graduating class of 2020, wherever you might be in this world, I am, I, my heart goes out to you in these terrible at times, these difficult times, these anxiety provoking times. I feel both sad for you and really glad for you at the same time. This is not coming out right. It's good, it's good. No, but here's, here's the deal. I can't do it that way because then that's, it's too it, stilted. It's but I would good. say to a graduating class that, um, Graduating during a global pandemic, when there are race riots in the streets and uh, the economy is in the worst shape that it's been in 50 years, uh, is really horrific. And at the same time, I'm really happy that this class is undergoing this test. Because when I look back at the tests in my life, the tests in my life is where I grew the most and where I learned the most. And if you're starting off your adult life during a time when every, how everything you thought worked a certain way is all of a sudden working in a completely different way, that's a good lesson to learn right off the bat about how life works and how life is gonna treat you. Because as John Lennon said, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. You might think that, oh, I'm going to go to X college, I'm gonna get X degree, I'm gonna get X job, I'm gonna buy X house in X suburb and marry X woman and have X number of kids. And you, you might have some things planned out in your head, I don't know. But life rarely, if ever, and in fact, I would say never, if ever, works out the way that we want it to. So this is a, a calamitous test these are enormous difficulties. But if you're able to roll with this storm and survive it and uh, adapt and move forward in your lives, then you will have incredible internal strength and resolve. Because the number one test to learn from this event and so many others is that there is only so much that's within our control. And there's so much that's outside of our control. 
So what is in our control? You know, we can eat right, we can get enough sleep, we can take care of ourselves, we can stay close to those we love, we can be of service to others, we can use our time well, we can always be learning, we can have an attitude of gratitude and an attitude of humility moving forward. Um, these are the things that we can control. Everything else, what the president tweets or doesn't tweet, um, whether police stations burn down, whether this virus hangs out for three more months or three more years, is completely out of our control. So the younger you are in kind of learning these incredibly valuable life lessons that I didn't learn until I was in my 40s um, is an incredibly precious gift. So we look at this uh, challenge as to quote that the phrase they always say about in Chinese, the, the word for challenge is also the word for opportunity. Mm. But this great challenge is also an opportunity for personal growth and kind of a, a flexibility mindset that will help you through the rest of your life. And you will be that class that people look back on. Oh my God, that was the class of 2020. Holy moly. That's like, um, you, it's like working in Wall Street during the great, the crash of the Great Depression in 29 or something like that. Like you were there at the center of these kind of perilous world events. That's why I had you ask, I asked you to come on to the show today. Because you, Boom. my friend, poof, you just did it. Did Julianne Palaha gave me some claps. Yeah, my wife is sitting here nodding <laughs> like she's in church. She's like, yes. And yes, she's clapping yes. on the and she's clapping on the Instagram yes. instead um, of clapping yes. in the background. And, and uh, Rain, uh, that was uh, amazing for not preparing anything. I'm blown away. <laughs> you should hear it when I prepare. I'm unstoppable. You're unstoppable. <laughs> well, you're unstoppable now, so I, you're beyond unstoppable. I'm like Martin Luther Gandhi, Oprah. You are. You are. That's what we used to call you on set. Man, I know that you've got a, a wife and a son of your own and some dogs. Hey, I'm so happy that you named your pit bull after me, Poe. <laughs> That's right. Poe. I yeah. thought, of course. Palaha, like, Poe. Palaha, yeah. Palaha's too long yeah. to say, but Poe yeah. works. Yeah. I'm He's honored. He's got a scraggly beard. <laughs> and he he <laughs> drools a lot. So yeah. I thought of you. Just like me. Yeah. Um, man, you've always been so generous to me. I have learned so much from you as a human and as an actor. And uh, I appreciate you coming on the Palaha Chautauqua today. That's very sweet of you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah. And it's great seeing you. And I know you've moved in five miles down the road and we still yeah. haven't seen each other. Hey, so did you, are you, did you move as well? Are you a little closer now? I am moving. I am moving farther away. I'm moving <laughs> out near Ventura. So uh, in the next month. Well, that's where so. we go now. You know that. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to say the suburb. <laughs> no, no, no. Not the, right. But you know what I'm not saying <laughs> by not saying it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, when this thing is over, let's, um, let's do our hike. Let's hang out. All right. Let's do it. All right. Thanks so much for having me on your show. Of course, Rain. Um, thanks for coming. All those Rain Wilson followers out there, thanks for joining. Please follow Chris Palaha. That's my co-star from Backstrom. And many, he's that actor you've seen in a thousand different shows. And we're like, oh, oh that, that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's the almost good looking guy in those 17 different shows I've seen. That's right. That's what Hart said he, when he cast me. He's like, you're almost good looking. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. Love you, brother. Thank you. Much love to your family. Love you, too. Bye-bye. See you, Rain. Bye-bye. There you have it, guys. Rain Wilson. He is a king among men. I'll tell you a story about Rain before I send off. Uh, he and I were up, we were filming Backstrom of Pilot, which was supposed to be for CBS, and I guess it ended up on Fox. And, um, and he said, hey, I didn't have Twitter yet. And he said, hey, do you want to be uh, on Twitter? And I was like, nah, I don't think so. And what I didn't realize was that had... I allowed Rain to sort of announce me on Twitter. That probably would have changed my whole Twitter game from the get-go. Uh, lessons learned. Guys, thank you so much for coming on to the Palaha Chautauqua this Friday afternoon. I wanted to wear a pink seersucker suit for you guys. I wanted to dress up for the graduating class of 2020. I wanted to be a little festive, hence my little uh, bannerage there. I wanted people to feel like this was an occasion to take note of because it is for you guys. And what Rain said was absolutely spot on. Uh, my hope is that this class will have an empathy and a vision of what the future can be through this hardship and through failure and through 
not getting the things that are expected and wanted and turning that into something remarkable. I have such hope for humanity. I have such hope for who we are as a species and as a world. And I know that we are going through it right now, but what we're going through, um, we have two choices. It's either going to get better. Or it's going to get worse. And I'm on the team that thinks it's going to get better. So from my family and from the Palaha Chautauqua to your family, congratulations to all of you who have just graduated the graduating class of 2020, whether it's university, high school, or even the little eighth graders moving into high school, your work was noted and uh, the accomplishment was made. And um, yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. I go backwards, will it work? Bye-bye. <laughs>